Yeah guys, back for another beer review. Another one from Dennis LD, Montreal Beer Reviews. Second of two beers he sent me. From Duty Sill, Shaman. Which of course is Shaman, or Shaman, whatever. Uh, you know, witch doctor, medicine man, basically a wizard, tribal wizard sort of thing. And they have a, uh, looks like the demon from uh, Corn de Diable. But he's dressed up as a shaman in this one. Uh, I know, I think the urban, the urban Viking, <laughs> Mr. Grim Viking, uh, I think he'd love to have this bottle in his collection. That would be awesome, I think, for him. That, that looks right up his alley. It's definitely up my alley. That's cool. Um, so big thanks to Dennis for sending this. Uh, this is a double IPA, essentially, Imperial Pale Ale, it says. 9% uh, alcohol by volume, extra strong beer, water, malted barley, wheat, hops, and yeast in this. Okay. Straight to this. I think my uh, camera's dying. Sunset orange color. Sort of a standard IPA color, really. Sunset orange. Unfiltered by the looks of things. Can't really see through it. At least not heavily filtered, anyway. A little bit of a white head on there. Off-white, I guess. Cream colored. Hmm. Looks okay. So, I'll smell these uh, little concoction and see what we think of it. Oh, wow. Mmm. I'm not sure what the IBUs are on this. I don't think it says. Very much on a, a piney, kind of sprucey uh, kick here. From the... Uh, and, and, and it's almost... It seems like I take one whiff of it, and the and the hops are dominating. And then I take another whiff, and the malt is starting to dominate. It's got this really big combination between uh, sweet, sweet malt. Uh, I wouldn't even say caramel. It's like it's almost candy-ish, like uh, very sweet. Almost so sweet that it's like a fruit candy of some sort, like a cherry candy or something like that. And then you have, and then it's probably just my nose playing tricks on me. It's probably the sweet malt mixing with these um, very piney hops. Mmm. It doesn't have one of those double IPA um, bites to it or anything like that for as far as the hops. Um, it's not one of those ones that sting in the nose or anything like that. It just smells really yummy. Like... You really want to get into it. It smells very thick and chewy, almost. Like, I know that's a weird thing to say, but it's, that's how it smells. Like, it's just the best I can come up with in this limited little uh, cranium I have here. Mmm. All right. Uh, it, it smells like liquid candy. Some sort of liquid pine caramel cherry big basket of awesome. So, we're going to go right into the taste now. That is strange. There's a very distinct bitter note. Piney, very, very piney bitterness. Uh, reminds me of Garrison Spruce Beer. It's very distinct. It's, it, I'm trying to I'm trying to picture this in my mind, how to describe this. It's like this very thin paper thin sheet of bitterness just sticking right up in the roof of the back of my throat <laughs> I know this probably sounds really really fucked up to you guys watching this but that's just what mentally I'm sort of picturing here up front big sweet um, 
malt caramelly moves into this almost sort of like a cherry um, taste mixes with those really piney hop flavors like big on flavor I think this is probably dry hops like both the yin yang or even wet hops um, that's big time flavors very juicy uh, almost like you, you, you think of like the like this this ripe branch of like from a spruce tree or something that's like dripping with sap and you just like <clears throat> it's like it's very very nice like uh, akin to like saying oh if this if the hops in this were like grapefruit or something think of ju just biting in this like very juicy slice of grapefruit or something like that try to picture that but with pine instead like spruce, spruce and pine wow very flavorful and the, the malt and the pine, they mix together, it's almost, it's bordering on medicinal almost, like, almost like, um, going towards like the, almost the, the flavor of like a hall, a hall's, uh, throat lozenge, or something along those lines, but it's no, like nowhere near as gross as that, like, it's just, it's just, it reminds me a bit of that. Very unique. I don't know what the IBUs are on this. Um, I'm guessing they're supposed to be pretty high if this is a 9.5 percent alcohol beer, but, um, and you can't taste the alcohol at all. No alcohol. It's it's not there. It's might as well not be there. Um, it's incredibly drinkable. Um, that bitterness hangs around, moves down to the back of your throat on the bottom, just lingers and lingers and lingers. Uh, wow, that's an excellent, that's an excellent IPA. Uh, this is the kind of IPA I like. Um, it has this big, you know, balance between the actual malt and the actual hops. Uh, much like Propeller's IP, uh, Double IPA, which is fantastic. Uh, Red Racer, also one of those ones that has a really nice balance. Um, the uh, Screaming Beaver or whatever it was from uh, Bose, another nice uh, double IPA candidate that has those sort of characteristics. I think I found the IPA I love. At least the sort of IPA I love. Ones that are made like I just mentioned. Um, this is really nice. It's really, really drinkable. Like. Bitterness is just enough to let you know that yes, it's an IPA. Like, it's sharp enough that you, that you know it's not a regular pale ale. There's definitely, it's definitely an IPA. It's definitely a step above. Um, <laughs> I love it. I love it. Thank you very much, Dennis, for sending this. Um, not only do I get a cool bottle, I get a really, really cool beer to drink. And uh, wow. Um, I'm not even a big IPA lover, but man, I'm getting converted by some of these, these some of these fantastic fucking beers. Uh, for me, it's not about immense hop bitterness. Uh, it's much more about flavors from the hops and a balance between those flavors and the malt flavors and all these uh, double IPAs that I've been given high scores to or just regular IPAs I've been given high scores to have managed to achieve that balance. Um, I'm giving it a 4 out of 5. That's a fantastic beer. That's an excellent, excellent IPA, double IPA. Shaman from Duty Sill, 4 out of 5. Definitely worth finding. Apparently it's a fairly rare one, I guess, but um, if you can get it, pick it up. See you guys later.